Well, on Tuesday, the Florida Highway Patrol said it's not going to pursue criminal charges in the matter. Maybe after Jesper Parnovic's comments, we have a confirmation she did pull out of the iron. They may want to reconsider. Uh, nice comment there by Jesper Parnovic. Welcome back to Chronicle Live, presented by Autotrader.com. Greg Papa, flanked by Ari Spears, who is in town, appearing at Cops Comedy Club. Yes. We'll give you the dates coming up. He's going to be there tonight at 8 o'clock. Mark Purdy is uh, here. And we bring in Steve Moskowitz for uh, a second time. And obviously, the legal ramification of this, you were in on Monday. They were dropped quickly the next day when Florida said, we're not going to pursue this. But uh, if you were defending Tiger Woods, uh, he was so outspoken yesterday on his website, uh, explaining what he did in, in full detail, but saying he was sorry. Would you advise him to handle it the way he did, Steve? No, I wouldn't. And the legal aspects are easy. He doesn't really have a legal problem. He has a business problem, a moral problem. What I would do is I would investigate thoroughly, and maybe Tiger has other problems like sex addiction. And maybe he should do what you, Grant, did. Come up and say, look, I made a mistake. I'm sorry. Go into a rehab, you, just like if you had a, a drug problem or an alcohol problem, go into rehab, come out, work with the marriage counselors, work with the clergy person, work with a spouse, and say, I'm cured, can you forgive me? And I bet he would be forgiven. There, there's one report that there's a marriage counselor living with him and his wife right now and having two times a day sessions. He might be, he might be banging her. <laughs> oh, man. See, now... <laughs> I know you want to save your best material. I know you want to save your best material for Cobbs, but is that is that what else? You have any other Tiger material you're going to try? I just don't know why we put our athletes on this godly like pedestal. All Tiger did was commit a mistake that most men would love to commit. You know, a man is as only faithful as his option. Tiger's got a lot of options. Jordan had a lot of options. Clinton had some options. Well, that's real important because what you look at too is Tiger is not an elected official. He's not a clergy person. He never went out and said, I'm holier than thou. I'm right. above this. He's a private person. He didn't commit any crimes. Mm -hmm. And basically, the real problems between him and his family. Listen, there, there's a lot of temptation out there in the world. Sure. And, and, you know, for guys in Tiger's position, like, listen, I'm going to be honest. I'm a thousandaire, and I get a lot of it. So I can imagine Tiger. He's got groupies coming to the house. You know what I mean? Well, 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 let's face it. This, none of this would have come out unless he's in that car at 2.30 a.m. So it spilled out of the house onto the public streets, and that's why we're, we're where we are. And uh, the column I wrote today in the Mercury News is, you know, this is really a private matter until it, until it spills out. And now, because that happened, there were people who bought tickets to see him play golf this weekend in Southern California. He's not going to be there because this happened. So now it does become a little bit of our business, and it does spill out into, uh, you know, the other than just golf and his, his uh, private life. Tiger disappointed his fans. And essentially, you, know, you talk about private life, but when you are in that type of income category, essentially you make a trade. You say, okay, I'm going to trade off my privacy in exchange for you know, a billion dollars. You know, a lot of people would say they're willing to trade. If someone truly wasn't willing to trade, they wouldn't take the billion. So he's sort of, it's like a, a violation of his contract. You to have a I'm, I'm asking the devil what's the going rate on a soul right, right. now. <laughs> you know, and it, it's amazing to me the reaction. Part of it shocked me with what he said. But the one guy who shocked me was Charles Barkley. I mean, Charles, um, Charles has got a lot of demons out there, mm -hmm. and I've been there to witness them, a lot of them personally. He actually threw him out of the bus a little bit, said he should come out publicly and just admit what he's done. Charles Barkley, Ari. Well, well, how you know, do you think Charles I, Barkley well, would handle this? Well, you know, Tiger, when I did what I did, <laughs> you know, when Ty, first of all, let me tell you something. First of all, Ty, what he did was terrible. Uh, you know, he human. Can hit the thing. With Tiger, first of all, he, Tiger is a man, and people know mistake. Tiger, let me tell you something. Here's the thing. Charles, Ta Charles, should he go on Oprah, 60 Minutes, where? Should go uh, on Inside the NBA uh, with Charles. I think he should go on to TMT with me, Kenny, yeah. Erna, <laughs> and talk about it and, and understand that next time you get caught, have some cocaine, too, and make it a party. <laughs> All right, Charles, let's say we get out of here. It's a uh, happy hour. We can go out and drink and uh, gamble and go chase women. Yes. Uh, there you go, Charles. Mm -hmm. Ari, we'll see you at Cobb starting at 8 o'clock. Ari didn't like this whole segment, I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> He's backing away.